right, so we're looking at kind of a rinse and repeat sort of forecast across the area for our Wednesday. If you like yesterday, going to love the next couple of days as we continue to see lots of sunshine and low humidity. The only difference is going to be maybe a couple degrees warmer compared to where we were at on our Tuesday afternoon. But next few days, going to kind of keep that gradual warming trend going, going as high pressure continues to kind of expand across the area. But after that, looking ahead towards the weekend, high pressure breaks down, and that will give Hurricane Lorena an avenue to try to come up north and at least give us some moisture from its remnants as we head into the first weekend of September. Here's the latest on Hurricane Lorena right now. Notice it looks a lot more organized than what it did yesterday. Has a little bit of some symmetry going on with it with winds right around 75 miles an hour. The latest track from the National Hurricane Center has it trying to strengthen to a Category 2 storm before it makes landfall into Baja, California, and eventually making another landfall into western Mexico. But notice it kind of keeps trying to move north and east. That moisture is going to try to come in our direction as we head into this weekend. Otherwise, out into the Atlantic Basin, we're very quiet for this time of the year. This is the peak of the season right around the beginning of September, and we have no named systems out there. Nobody's complaining about that at all. But the next name on the list is Gabrielle, and this one has about a 70% shot of becoming Gabrielle as we go throughout the next seven days. Got a good seven to 14 days to watch that as we go throughout the next two weeks. Back here at home, though, we're looking at a nice and mild start with mainly dry conditions out there, right around 65 into Midland this morning, sitting at 62 into Abilene, so a little bit cooler compared to yesterday morning in Abilene, about 63 right now into San Angelo. Clear skies out towards the Midland Odessa area uh, with just a nice and low humidity feel out there, really quiet out there as we get started for our Wednesday and really looking at future cast, not expecting much for our Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. A light breeze out of the northeast may help a little bit with that heat this afternoon. And I think by this evening, we'll try to see a few clouds try to stream in, but clouds try to increase a little bit more as we go into our Thursday. Now, not expecting us to be completely clouded over on Thursday, but definitely will notice some clouds increasing with some showers trying to slip in by the time we get into our Friday and some more showers and storms trying to bubble in going into Saturday and Sunday. But for today, though, all of us looking dry. The summer heat persists across the area, going middle to upper 90s. A couple of spots in the 80s, though, like we normally see down towards our higher terrains. Right around 94 today in San Angelo and about 95 this afternoon into Abilene. Full seven-day forecast, sticks with the sunshine for today and tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be the hottest day of the week, going right around 100 in Abilene for our Thursday. But as we go into the weekend, those rain chances return. Not going to be a washout, though. Right now going about a 20 to 30% coverage from Friday to about, say, Tuesday of next week.